Hey guys, Tab here from Real Michigan Anglers, and today I'm going to show you guys my favorite walleye fishing lures. For more walleye fishing videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I am primarily a bank angler or wader. Um, every once in a while I get to go out in a boat. I have one that I don't use very often myself. So most of this is going to pertain to uh, shore fishing. Alright, I'm going to start off with the lure that I've caught the most walleyes on, and that is the Rapala Shadow Wrap. And these are my three favorite walleye colors. The Clown for just about any condition, uh, the Green Olive for just about any condition, and the uh, Carbon, particularly for night, but I also catch them during the day on the Carbon. But this is my go-to night fishing walleye lure right here. Um, these things have great action. I use them generally to suspend uh, and just drift in the current. So I kind of cast just upstream or straight ahead and just kind of let them drop down and, you know, work them through a strike zone. Kind of twitch them once in a while. Um, they have a nice erratic twitch to them, but they stay nice and low. These are the deep variations. Um, they also come in a shallow, which I also catch walleye with, but generally walleye are closer to the bottom. So I usually use these deeps. I also use these ones occasionally. These are the slow rising ones. If I really want to go really slow, sometimes I'll just throw these out and drift them in some strong current and that'll kind of keep them down. Um, but they don't get hung up quite as bad because they are a true suspender. They do kind of slowly float up. Um, so when I, I'm trying to avoid hang-ups but still get it down where I want to go really slow and uh, just kind of change up the action a little bit, I do throw these variations. Another suspending jerk bait that works really well for me is the River to Sea Trophy Minnow. I once had a walleye jump out of the water to try and grab one of these as I was pulling it out of the water. Um, they certainly love the way these wiggle, that tight wobble on the on the retrieve seems to really do more than the actual suspending of the lure in a lot of cases with this particular guy. I've also caught a few really nice walleye on the Excite XB1 in this chartreuse color. Uh, this is my favorite square bill. Um, I've slayed many a bass with these as well and some pike. Um, but I've caught a few really nice walleye. Some of the bigger ones that I've caught have come on this lure. If I had to pick one absolute favorite walleye lure, this would be it. I caught my very first walleye ever on this one here, the blaze in the uh, chartreuse color with black back. And then um, I've caught quite a few nice walleye on the silver with blue back. Um, the silver and blue back has caught me my biggest walleye as well as my smallest walleye. With these guys, I do, I do two different things. I do what some people call yo-yoing, where you just throw it out and let it hit the bottom, and you just rip it up real fast, and then reel in the slack as it's falling back down and repeat, and usually they hit it when it's falling back down, or react to it as soon as you jerk it. Uh, and that works really well with these. I pick up bass doing it that way too. Um, but also just going low and slow through deep holes um, and sometimes just little twitches just to make the rattle take off a little bit that seems to work really well for me it wouldn't be a walleye lure video if I didn't talk about the jig and soft plastic so I'm going to show you some of my favorite jig and soft plastic setups um, for vertical jigging from a boat this is the rig that I used in the Detroit River uh, you can check that video out at the uh, card link above here. Um, first time I ever caught a limit of walleye was on this vertical jigging. This is a Lunker City Fluke on a half ounce jig head for vertical jigging. Uh, we did use stinger hooks, so you attach a little bit of uh, line and an extra hook to, because a lot of times they kind of are finicky and they just nip at the tail a little bit so if you can get that extra hook out there um, so that's a vertical jigging setup with a Lunker City uh, soft plastic on a gumball jig here I have a quarter ounce walleye jig with a salvage bait co scrappy swimmer which is a 3.5 inch paddle tail and 
this has caught me some nice night walleye with that black color um, the white is also great for night walleye um, this is one of my favorite uh, lures in the last year or so since I started using it I've caught a lot of nice fish on the scrappy swimmer another go to is the classic kind of jig and twister uh, here I've got an eighth ounce chartreuse jig with the white twister tail and here I've got a quarter inch twister tail uh, white and pink on the pink head um, I catch a lot of them on the pink head probably mostly because I got a hundred pink jigs in bulk and that's the main color that I use most of the time I do throw a lot of chartreuse as well and some orange um, the chartreuse seems to work really well for the walleyes as well I've caught quite a few walleyes on a chartreuse jig the white twister. Um, there's lots of different types of twisters that work, uh, lots of diff different soft plastics in general, so if you start tossing appropriate sized jigs for the conditions with the right color uh, and right action soft plastic, you're going to catch some walleyes doing it. It's only a matter of time. Another walleye slaying lure is the Meps Black Fury. Uh, a great color combination for night fishing is the white dot black fury uh, and I often use the orange dot black fury as the white is not really available in most stores uh, so I don't get them very often if you check out the back of the box on a MEPS black fury package it says because its blade rotates close to its body the black fury will run at mid depths outlined against an evening sky it's deadly for trophy bass or night feeding walleye um, so yes night fishing for walleye with the black fury has worked for me many times in the past number threes and number fours I believe because the fact they're made to run at a mid depth it actually makes it easier to work them even slower than other spinners without getting hung up on the bottom so you can go just about as slow as you can with the blade still running and that tends to keep it nice and low and it really picks up lots of fish that way if you're bank fishing for walleye on the river and you've got anything remotely similar to these lures here you've got a good chance walleye are a finicky fish that are harder to catch than a lot of other game fish um, so do some research aside from what lure to use you really want to key in on location and feeding habits and that's going to make you a successful walleye fisherman i hope this helps good luck in your adventures and thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check out some of my other walleye fishing videos Thanks.